Hey guys, it's Samu here from HowToFAQ and today I'm going to be showing you how you can recover deleted files from a USB stick. Um, do you know when you've got files on a USB stick, when you're working on files, you're working on a document for work or for school um, and somehow you accidentally delete the files or a program corrupts them or maybe even like a virus on your computer causes issues and you lose the files but you need to get them back and pff, otherwise you've lost work. So, I'm going to show you how to do that, how to recover data lost on USB sticks. I've had a lot of comments on previous videos asking about this, and I'm going to show you using a tool called Recover It. And Recover It is a massive platform. They have loads of different tools, and one of their tools is for recovering data uh, from USB sticks. I'm, I'm going to be showing, showing you how this works uh, today. So. I've got some files here to test around with and we'll see how that works. So I'm just going to download, recover it. Okay, and now I'm just going to install. And it'll just take a, a few seconds to just go through the general install process. Cool, and now it's finished. Okay, so we can click start now. And the program will just take a, a couple seconds to just load because it's the first time booting it and you can see a little splash screen here coming up. Cool, so you can see the screen here. This is where most of the action happens. It shows you the eight different ways you can recover your data. Um, so you can just add, um, if you have a product key, uh, you can add the email and then the registration code here um, because this is the pro edition. I believe there are free versions, but um, yeah, you can check out on their website. Um, so I'm just going to quickly enable the Pro Edition. Cool, and now I have registered and I now have the Pro Edition enabled. Cool, so now let's test this out. Let's actually see this in action. So, I already showed you I have some files here on a USB stick. Um, this is uh, some projects. You have some JPEG kind of images, some documents with some random stuff in, um, and some videos. Uh, just show you. Some video, video of uh, some waves, pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'm going to just delete um, the whole folder and let's see if we can actually get the data back. Just going to delete it. It's gone. So, and there's no way I can get it back. Um, sometimes on systems you have recycling bins and things and you might be able to get it back that way. But in this case, how am I going to get my data back if it's been lost? This might be a virus. It might be uh, the program just you know, doing something to it by mistake. It might be just a plain accident. Yeah, so let's go to All Round Recovery. All Round Recovery allows us to select external devices. So I'm just going to select the USB device. I'm going to click Start. I'm going to see if it can recover my data that has been lost. And you can see, um, essentially, it will start scanning and it'll start looking for files um, on the system. And uh, I believe there's some like, really good, solid technology behind it. But the whole idea is that when you delete a file, um, the pointers towards that file are normally still there. So you should be able to have uh, a pretty good chance of, of recovering it. Um, but obviously, um, as you move on over time, um, those files can be overwrited and the pointers towards where the data is on the drive can uh, kind of disappear. So it's obviously harder to recover data um, the longer you leave it. Um, so you can see it's actually recovering what we've just deleted, which is pretty amazing. You can see it has the project files. It's, these are the files it's found. So it's, it's gone through the drive and just seen these files. Um, so you can see, yeah, so these look like the actual files, uh, even the massive video that I had as well. And you can see it's just scanning through all the sectors on the file. So I don't necessarily need to go through the whole scanning process uh, if I found my files. I can just um, uh, select the files I want to recover. Like I might want to just recover this whole, um, this whole folder or something, for example, and then I could recover it. Um, and of course, uh, you have to pause scanning um, in order to recover a file. 
So you can just pause it um, or just stop it and then just recover it. So I'm going to click recover and you can choose where you want it to be recovered to. Um, and for example, I might want to just recover it back to that drive. Um, so at the moment there's literally nothing in here, um, no files. And what I can do is I can just recover it back to that drive. And it says saving data on the source partition will reduce um, the successful chance of recovery. OK, so what this is saying is you don't want to save the data you just lost on the same drive that you're recovering it from because there's a chance that you could lose it. So that's a good point. Therefore, make a separate, um, make a separate document uh, folder and then store it there. So if you then, um, I'll just put it in music. Uh, let's just USB recovered data. And I'm just going to recover it to there. Cancel, and I'm just going to literally go to music. Oh, yeah, well, let's just go. Music, 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 music. There we go, music. And I'll just recover it to that folder. And it'll take a few seconds, and it will just copy all that data. And it automatically opens it where it's recovered it to. And here you go, projects. And let's just see if the video plays. Because obviously, I've deleted it. A, a complex uh, composition like a video could easily be corrupted. So let's just see. And you can see the video is playing perfectly fine completely recovered, no problems. Um, so that's pretty awesome. You know, we've got the whole video back. Um, it sh just shows you, and I've got a few other pictures that I took um, just to see if it'd be able to recover them. And these are like fairly big pictures. These are just stock images I took from the internet. Uh, so you can see circuit boards, some code, uh, laptop, light bulbs like some complex te technological thing. Some documents, so this is another thing. Let's see if we can actually open these documents. Yep, so I've got all the data back, the whole documents back. So yeah, I mean, that was a very basic example of what this can do. This program is um, much more powerful than that, though. This program can um, uh, recover. This is just all round recovery, but this program is uh, pretty excellent at recovering different things um, so it can be have a very specified recovery so there's lost partition recovery uh, formatted disk recovery um, deleted file recovery external devices recovery virus attack recovery system crash recovery um, so they have basically different techniques targeted for very specific areas um, where they think um, where they have their own algorithms and methods for recovering the data from the analysis they've done. So, as you can see, it works really well. Um, it's pretty quick to install uh, in terms of setting up and everything. It's very easy to use, very straightforward. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, uh, thanks for uh, Wondershare for reaching out and uh, sending me a, a copy of this Recover It. Pro um, to review, and yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. It's great to see um, something that really quickly recovers data um, from flash drives and USB sticks. Um, and I can really see this being a very useful um, piece of software. Yeah, so thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, uh, if you want to download um, Recover It Pro, um, look at the links in the description. And uh, yeah, be sure to subscribe and like this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and you can look at the other videos on the screen now and uh, click on one of those um, to look at some other videos that I make on this channel. Thanks very much for watching. It's been great having you. Goodbye.